Hello everyone, this is the Shalin Coin Collector and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got some 5 cent coins and I'll be showing you 3 rare 5 cent coins to look for on your change. Now these 3 are just circulating coins and I didn't include errors in this, but these 3 are the rarest 5 cent coins in circulation. Now what makes these 3 so rare? The answer, the mintage of the coins. The mintage is basically how many of each coin was made by the mint. The lower the mintage, the less there are, and therefore the rarer and more valuable they are. Obviously, there are some exceptions to this, but this is the general rule for circulating coins. Now, let's go from oldest to newest and start with these, the 1972 5 cent coins. Now, in 1972, there were only 8.236 million of these minted. Now, I know a lot of you might be thinking, 8 million, that's a lot of coins. But when you think about it, there are 25 million people in Australia, so only about 30% of the people would have, th have this. Then you have to consider the small percentage of people that actually know what the, uh, this is, as well as the amount that have been taken out of circulation, lost or destroyed. Um, and from that, you might realise that 8 million is actually not that many coins, and they're actually really hard to find in circulation. So yes, 8 million is a uh, low mintage. Um, to put it into some perspective, um, from 1966 to 1968, over 60 million 5 cent coins were minted each year. And from 1980 to 1983, over 100 million per year. This, um, that makes uh, this very low, um, and that's what makes the 1972 5 cent so valuable. And uh, considering it has been nearly 50 years, so many of them have been lost or taken out of circulation. Um, I've heard from other people that they normally show up in every 50 to $100 worth of 5 cent coins. Um, and if you realize that's one in every 1,000 to 2,000 coins, or a success rate of 0.1 to 0.2%. Now, considering their rarity, what are these worth? Well, these coins go for around 3 to $50 each. Um, though I normally see them for around $5 each. If we look at the catalogue, its value and price evaluation um, is around $55 for uncirculated condition. Now, bear in mind uh, that $3 to $5, uh, $50 price evaluation is depending on condition. Um, it doesn't include the really low quality or horrible condition coins, which would obviously be worth a lot less. And on the other side of the spectrum, the really high condition 5 cent coins, um, most of which are graded by PCGS or NGC. Um, well, I know that uh, the really top quality coins are worth upwards of a couple of hundred dollars. However, it would be a lot harder to find one of them. Um, and on each of them, they have the initials SD, SD um, just below the five. It's a bit hard to see it there. Um, but below the five, there's the initials of SD, um, and that stands for Stuart Devlin, and that was the design. He was the designer of the coin, and there you go. That's the obverse, um, and it has the uh, second effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, um, and that's an older effigy. It was uh, made. It was put on the older coins. Um, there you go. That's the 1972. I only have a few of those there. Um, these are the only ones I've got. I've only got four of them. And then uh, now we'll move on to the next uh, coin, and that is the 2016 change of a coin. So that's this one here, and you might see I've got quite a lot of them. Um, and these are not all of the uh, change over 5 cent coins I've got, but uh, just got a couple of them out. Um, and so it was released to commemorate 50 years of decimal currency. Now it's better known as the changeover. Because um, this is when they uh, switched from pounds, shillings, and pence to cents and dollars. And that was in 1966. Um, so along with this coin, there were other commemorative changeover coins for the other de denominations. Um, each of them with their own unique obverse design, um, the $1 also being rare. Now this coin on the obverse has a picture of a kangaroo. There you go, right there, um, and it looks uh, like the kangaroo design of the uh, pennies and half pennies. 
um, and that's just under the IRB effigy of Queen Elizabeth II there. There you go. Um, so up until 2016, the only rare and looked for 5 cent coin was the 1972. So it came as quite a surprise um, as this coin became the new uh, rarest and lowest mintage 5 cent coin. So this coin has a mintage of 4.8 million, which is nearly half that of the 1972. However, as this is a lot newer than the 1972, it is arguably easier to find in circulation. Um, and hence, they go for lower at 75 cents to $5 depending on condition. Once again, this doesn't include the really high condition um, and quality coins, which go for higher. Um, and one little detail uh, you might want to look for with the, each of these coins um, is the alien card. And so that's basically um, a card or a raised metal um, that's in a shape of, it goes like this, out from the um, kangaroo. Um, and it basically looks like antennas, uh, so therefore it's called an alien uh, card. Um, and that one's worth, a, uh, that one's a lot rarer and it's worth insane amounts of money. Um, so if you find one of them, always check for that. And uh, let's move on. So we'll move on to the last one here and that's the 2019 JC FG 5 cent coin. Um, this one here. So during 2019, uh, all denominations um, of coins were minted with two different effigies. So the IRB effigy was the old effigy of Queen Elizabeth. Um, and I'll show you that one. This one's the IRB effigy and it's used on quite a lot of the uh, newer coins. Um, and in 2019, they decided to use a newer effigy and that's this JC effigy. Um, so it was minted on some of these coins as well. So if you got coins from 2019, it's either going to have the IRB or the JCFG. Um, so as a result of this, they both had different mintages. So you might notice um, these effigies are named after the initials of the designers of them. Anyway, the mintage for the five cents JCFG coins was released last year in the annual report, and it was reported that it's a mintage of 4.1 million which, if it were true, would be the lowest minted and rarest five cents coin to date, um, of course not including the errors and varieties, even less than the 2016 changeover. However, most uh, believe that they weren't the final mintages, and the final mintages will be released soon in the next annual report. As a result, although there was some initial hype, seeing the prices rise dramatically, the prices of these haven't really gone up that much, and I've seen them selling for a range of different values. But all of them are quite a bit under $1. Um, and although due to the fluctuations, it's hard to tell exactly, I've seen bags selling for about 30 to 40 cents each um, for each coin. So that's not, that's not the circulated coins. Those are the uncirculated coins. Bags like these ones here. Um, but you'd also see if you look up on eBay that they're selling for about $30 each. However, you have to take into account the postage charges and the eBay fees. But we really don't know what the final mintage is going to be yet. And if it is going to be high and a relatively common coin, or if it's going to be about the same and still a rare coin. Um, with the amount I've seen, I honestly think that it's going to be uh, still relatively low mintage, but not as low as the mintage in the last report. But again, that's just my opinion. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that is it for today. To recap, uh, keep looking out for these coins, the 1972, the 2016 changeover with the commemorative obverse um, or head side, and the 2019 JC. Although for that one, you'll have to uh, look and keep a lookout for the fine mintage, which will be released soon. To tell us how rare it actually is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like and that subscribe button as it really helps me out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.